there's this syndrome among those who live in the city. There's always that urge to go out, to hang out, to, yeah, have you heard of the latest restaurant, the latest joint? Learn to say no. Sometimes you can't even afford it. But because your friends are going, there are parties every Saturday. You've got to buy a ceremonial wear, what we call a shabby. Learn to say no. Friends, my name is Shola Deshaki, lead coach, founder, Smart Stewards, the Smart Investment Club. I would like to talk about a very interesting topic in this video, and I will title it Financial Management for Those Living in Cities. Right? So I, I would have said Financial Management for Those Living in Lagos, Financial Management for Those Living in London, Financial Management for Those Living in New York, and on and on. But you know what? We could categorize cities into cities. I know that um, the cost of living has gone up significantly these days. Inflation around the world, um, for those in Nigeria, uh, devaluation, and you know, uh, things outside of our control. By the way, when I teach, I tell people there are three economies that should be of concern to you. Your personal economy, national economy and global economy personal economy has to do with what you earn and what you spend right to a large extent you have some of those things within your control because you can sort of manage your expenses you can decide to make more money now national economy has to do with what is happening in the country you are based in right so what the government does fiscal and monetary policies what the central bank does and a whole lot more you do not have control most times over those things. Because for example, in Nigeria, you just realize that <laughs> the value or the cost of, of, of exchange, right? Naira just goes from say 500, 585, 600, 610, and all of those things. So you do not have control over those things, over those policies. And then the third economy is the global economy. What is happening around the world? Coronavirus happened in China and we all got affected. Ukraine, Russia war, you know, the battle between uh, the, 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 the bigger countries and all of those things. But you see those, that, that personal economy, you have to guard it very well. So for those who live in the city, um, and what, what, why should we even talk about those who live in the city? We know that for people who live in suburbs, for people who live in towns, smaller towns and villages, the prices of goods and services are not usually as much or as high as, you know, for example, in Nigeria. So for someone who lives in Ogbomosho, Ogbomosho is a town, a little town. No, not a little town before the Ogbomosho people come for me, right? In Oshun State in Nigeria, the, the cost of living in Ogbomosho compared to Lagos cannot be the same. I know that for folks, for example, who live in, say, London, you have some parts of town that are not London, London. I don't want to mention names before you come for me, but you will agree with me that, you know, some places have a higher cost. I mean, if you live in London, 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 you know what that means compared to those who live in the North, like Leeds, like Manchester, and even smaller, smaller towns in between. Do you see? And the same applies all over the world. The, the capital of the country is usually more expensive for obvious reasons. Everybody wants to be there. I mean, as a capital seat, as as a commercial seat of the country, of the of, of the state, things happen, and you 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 know what I'm talking about, right? But back to my points, just five tips for those living in major cities. And I'll take Lagos for example. How can you manage your finances? How can you avoid falling into the trap of just spending money excessively? because you live in the city number one understand your patterns right we all have patterns we all have our money temperaments we all have our behavioral temperaments we all have what you call the latte factor things that make us you know spend money those things little little things here and there that we spend money on for example in my own little way i love three in one coffee 
Uh, yes, I, I love other variants of teas, but this particular one, once I mix it, I'm fine. It gives me that feeling that I love, right? So I am always buying three in one coffee. That's just a basic example. For some people, Starbucks. I have friends who can do without Starbucks every day. I have friends who can do without McDonald's every day. In Lagos, I have friends who will pop in into a restaurant or even a buka, right? A cafeteria, just something that they, they do all the time. So know your patterns, right? With your personal finance. What makes you trip all of the time? How can you avoid them? What are your triggers? What are your spending triggers? If you go on a particular way or route to work every day and you know, there's a store, there's an outlet where you buy those things. Can you probably change your route? You know that these things are eating deep into your pocket. So know your triggers and avoid them. Number two, identify areas by which you can save and it is closely linked to the patterns for example you do starbucks every day every day i am aware that there are sachets right of starbucks coffee of um yeah i once bought a pack looked good i mean it might not taste as interesting as what you would buy in the store or the outlet but it looks good i mean it tasted good so identify areas of savings that's just an example i don't know why i'm mentioning starbucks but you know what it is saving areas and um, there's something we call bring your lunch to work so rather than buying food 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 all of the time i know sometimes you want to change but how about packing your food to lunch, your lunch to work all the time right so get to know those areas that you can save money on so that you don't fall into the trap you see one of the things you see in cities is the glitz the glamour the lights you know the the paparazzi and all of those things let's hang out oh let's go do lunch you know all the the, the busyness and the hustle and the bustle has a way of you know sending your adrenaline up right so pack your food to lunch guys are you going for lunch see you i've got my brown pack do you see areas of saving another area of saving is probably rather than driving for example in lagos you go from the mainland to the island can you eat a ride with someone or can you just i mean there, there are a lot of companies who offer executive transportation systems i don't want to mention names but i see them in traffic i'm like guys the people in on the buses are sleeping in traffic they are, they are having a time of their life look out for opportunities like that so you don't get caught up in oh i've got to drive i've got to drive and then you're tired you're complaining all the time all right that's tip number two right tip number three invest in a good space guys this should interest you let me tell you one of the reasons people love to go out a lot is because most times they are not comfortable at home invest in a good space make your house a bit comfy for you if you have to put towels if you have to put rug I, I i went to visit a friend a while ago and in their living room it looked like a movie theater lights off and it was just so nice so if i had that or for them going to the movies all the time is not an option so they might go out eating but make your house comfortable your bedroom your living room it might be a small space by the way i remember the very first apartment that i rented when i left home it was a one-room apartment a, a very tiny kitchen a bathroom but i got a friend who was an architect to glam the place up it was comfortable ac little free in my bed so i would usually look forward to going home right all the time so it's not a matter of ah no i don't have make invest in your personal space your bedroom where you sleep so that you can sleep soundly where you, you and your children interact and you know talk where you and your wife just just invest in a good space so you are not always tempted to go out now you may think this is oh does it really will it make a difference it would make a difference learn to say no is a fuck fuck tip now there's this syndrome among those who live in the city there's always that urge to go out to hang out to yeah have you heard of the latest restaurant the latest joint learn to say no sometimes you can't even afford it but because your friends are going there are parties every saturday you've got to buy a ceremonial wear what we call a shabby learn to say no right i'm not saying that in suburbs in towns and all of those they don't do parties 
But in, in cities where you have most of the activities going on, there's likely to be that, you know, tendency to always want to do something because everybody's doing it. Learn to say no. Make your house comfortable, right? That should be sometimes ceremonial wears. Buy the color. Except, I mean, I'm not saying don't buy those things. I'm just saying know your patterns and do what works for you. Let me leave you with one more point. Identify how to buy smart. If you have listened to me long enough, you know I don't teach don't spend. I teach spend smartly. In cities, there are still places where you can buy in bulk. There are places where you can share, pull together, pull funds together, right? You can buy, you can, you don't have to go yourself. Send somebody to buy in bulk. I know that even in places like the US, like the UK, like Canada, well, I've been to the US and the UK. There are places where you can share stuff, buy in also. There are stores, BJ's, Walmart, and all of those places in Nigeria here. A mile 12. It's a good place. You don't have to go. I haven't been to my job in years. But I buy my items. I send somebody there. They bring it. It's usually very much cheaper than, you know, buying in malls. I'm not saying you don't go to malls. I'm just saying identify how to spend smart. Now, these are just few tips out of many others in the comments. I would love to read from you. And of course, let me quickly drop this. Transportation. I think I mentioned it. Sometimes getting a day pass, getting a month pass and all of those things, depending on where you live, would, you know, you just, just, just make inquiries, do your research and a little money here, a little money there all adds up at the end of the day. I think Benjamin Franklin says that watch out for little, little expenses because a little hole, right, I'm paraphrasing, can, can, a little leak can sink an entire ship. Look forward to hearing from you. Let me read your comment, right? Live smart, build true wealth. See you some other time.